स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय पी एच डी एम फिल किसी भी विषय में डिप्लोमा के अनेक अवसर है आर के डी एफ यूनिवर्सिटी में एडमिशन ओपन द वेस्ट एशिया रीजन इज फेसिंग हाइट एंड टेंशन एज फ्यूर्स ऑफ रीजनल वॉर लूम सेट लार्ज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विल सर्टनली इरप्ट इन द मिडल ईस्ट एज इरान इसराइल एंड द एक्सेस ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस आर प्रिपेयरिंग एक्टिवली Nonetheless at the same time it remains unknown as to when Iran which has vowed to avenge Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh's killing will strike First it was believed that Iran along with its proxies might strike Israel over the weekend but that did not happen Then it was believed that by Monday night a strike would come but again that was not the case However as Iran delays the strike it seems that Iran's axis of resistance comprising Hamas in Palestine Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah in Lebanon is divided over the attack as proxies have jumped to retaliate on their own Amid the war concerns Iran is actively engaged in diplomatic maneuvers At a recently held emergency summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation in Saudi Arabia, regional leaders expressed hopes that Iran might lean towards diplomacy rather than military action. Iran's acting foreign minister Ali Bagheri alongside other Muslim majority country representatives discussed the possible steps to prevent further escalation. At the same time, Israel and its strongest ally, the United States, are also working together closely to avert Iranian threat and prevent escalation. Israel has sent out messages to its citizens, telling the people to stock up on food and water in fortified safe rooms, while hospitals prepare to move patients to underground wards and search and rescue teams position themselves in major cities. Meanwhile the US is pressing allies to yet again help defend Israel against an expected Iranian attack as Washington itself moved some essential weapons and military in West Asia. Despite the preps on both sides Iran has delayed an attack on Israel which seems to be irritating Iran's axis of resistance. While Hezbollah has been striking Israel for the last few days, the US has been on Houthi's target. Intelligence sources have revealed to the CNN that Hezbollah looks increasingly like it may strike Israel independently. The Lebanon-based militant group is moving faster than Iran in its planning and is looking to strike Israel in the coming days, one of the sources said. Meanwhile Hezbollah said in a brief statement that its members launched a barrage of Kayutsa rockets on Thursday at an Israeli military outpost in Manot Moshev targeting several Iron Dome missiles batteries as well as artillery bunkers stationed there confirming the attack IDF stated that most of the rockets were intercepted while at least two impacted the city causing damage Simultaneously Houthi stated it had attacked a container ship in the Red Sea and the two US destroyers in the Gulf of Aden on Wednesday. In retaliation, US military forces struck targets in Yemen in the past 24 hours, destroying two drones, a Houthi ground control station and three anti-ship cruise missiles, the US Central Command said. Whether Iran would directly strike Israel or the proxies would betray Iran also would the US be able to prevent the escalation of the Middle East war as the developments occur it remains to be seen how the events unfold